I think we can all agree that Microsoft Teams is the predominant player in the UCAS field. And by predominant player, I really mean just market share. They have the largest market share of anybody. Zoom, Ring Central, 8x8, Cisco, they beat everybody there. But is Teams the best UCAS solution? If you're a Microsoft guy, you'll probably say, oh, absolutely, it's Teams. If you're a Cisco guy, you're saying it's WebEx. If you're a Zoom guy, you're just saying Zoom. So I'm not here to debate which is the best UCAS platform. I'm here to talk about which is the biggest platform, Microsoft Teams, and how Zoom can actually fit inside of Microsoft Teams, completely coexist and completely integrate with Microsoft Teams. And the reasons companies do that is because obviously 99.86% of the world is a Microsoft shop. I completely made that stat up. I have no idea what the real percentage is, but I bet I'm not that far off. So if you're in the enterprise space predominantly, you're probably using Microsoft Teams primarily for chat, a very strong chat platform, and, and everyone uses it for chat. Does it have meetings? Of course it does. Does it have voice? Yes. Does it have telephony? Absolutely. But are they the best? Are they the best three modalities for UCAS in Microsoft Teams? That is very debatable. Chat, you could probably say Slack is the best, but it's not a big enterprise player like Microsoft Teams. So, so we'll give chat to Microsoft Teams just because of usage alone. When it comes to video quality, audio quality, telephony quality, there's a big debate here. And we're going to probably side with Zoom on this one. And it's not just me siding with Zoom because they work for Zoom. There's a lot of studies out there that show that Zoom video quality is better, that Zoom audio quality is better, that Zoom telephony quality is better. So then if you're a Microsoft team shop, how could you fully take advantage of all those best in class modalities that Zoom has, even if you're a Microsoft Teams user? That's what we're gonna do today. We're gonna show you how to integrate Zoom inside of Microsoft Teams. We're gonna do a bunch of demos and showcase all these cool little workflows that you can do inside of Microsoft Teams using Zoom. Things like calendar integration, things like meeting integration, things like telephony integration, things like whiteboard integration. We're gonna go through all these demos and showcase how to use Microsoft Teams with Zoom coexistence. Are you ready? I gotta to go to my office to do this, so I'll be back in a minute. All right, we've moved to the office and let's get ready to go. What I'm gonna do is gonna share my Teams client so you can see exactly what I'm talking about with the Zoom and Teams integration. So this is Microsoft Teams. You know exactly what it looks like if you're a Microsoft Teams user, right? You have all your chats and channels over here. Well, actually chats and channels are now combined into just chats. And you can see all that stuff on the left side. This is the left navigation bar in the Microsoft Teams world. And you can see there's a couple of apps over here, like your OneDrive app and your calendar integration and all that good stuff. But I want you to concentrate on right here. This is Zoom 2.0, the new Zoom integration client coming out for Microsoft Teams. So let's start exploring it. And if you're familiar with Zoom at all, this is exactly the home screen on your Zoom client. It looks exactly the same in Microsoft Teams. So right here, we have all the choices of new meeting, join a meeting, share a screen, or schedule a meeting. Right here on the right side, we have our calendar integration. And check this out. I can really see Teams and Zoom meetings on the same screen, even though I'm in Microsoft Teams. And you can tell the difference because one, it says Microsoft Teams because I created that for a demo. But look, there's a little Microsoft Teams icon right here, letting you know it's a Microsoft Teams meeting. And then look at this. This is a Zoom meeting in Teams. And of course, there's a little Z right here for Zoom meeting. And this calendar is actually synchronized with your Office 365 calendar, which is actually an exchange. So your Outlook client, your Teams client, your Zoom client are all using the same calendar. And we can verify that by just going to the Microsoft Teams calendar. You can see that they're exact same meetings that I had in the Zoom app. And what the cool thing is, is, is that Microsoft Teams and Zoom integration allows you to start these meetings right from your Microsoft Teams client. So for example, I have this Zoom meeting in Teams right now. It's a Zoom meeting because I literally just set it up. I just showed you. I can literally join that Zoom meeting right from Microsoft Teams with one click. Let's do it. And just like that, I launched a Zoom meeting directly from Microsoft Teams right from the calendar. That's pretty impressive. All right, let's just go back to the uh, Zoom app real quick. And now you've seen that I can have calendar synchronization with Microsoft Teams, as well as Outlook, as well as Zoom. I don't have to go to today, I can go to tomorrow, I can go to any day of the week, and I have the exact same calendar that's in Microsoft Teams. But what if we wanna join a new meeting? Well, guess what? You hit the new meeting button right here. So now for Microsoft Teams, we can ask other people to join this ad hoc meeting. So for example, I know Jeff is around, let's just type his name in here, Jeff. Shirts. So let's just invite Jeff to this meeting. And now we just start this meeting. Now look at that. I'm in a new Zoom meeting that I launched for Microsoft Teams. Jeff didn't join. He's in another meeting, but you get the point. 
Okay, we showed you calendar. We showed you a new meeting. If we want to join an existing Zoom meeting, we literally just click join and type in the meeting ID. It's that simple. What if you wanted to schedule a Zoom meeting from Microsoft Teams? Bet you can't guess what button you're going to click. Yeah, it's the schedule button. I'm going to put on my glasses because I'm old and I need to see this screen, so forgive me. <laughs> All right, so now we want to do a new Patrick Kelly Zoom meeting. And again, we'll just, we'll invite Leo, my boss this time. You can invite internal people, you can invite external people, you can invite people with a, just a simple email address, do whatever you want. And the cool thing is, this is all synchronized with Entra ID. For those that don't know, that's Active Directory. So your full Active Directory integration, your identities and authentication are actually all integrated with this Zoom app as well. You didn't see it earlier and I could do a demo in a minute, but when I logged on or signed into the Zoom client, I'm actually just using the same credentials I used to sign into Microsoft Teams. It's completely synchronized with SSO or single sign-on identity. We have all this integration built into the app. So there's nothing a user has to do. It's all integrated. All these names that I actually are showing you, these are all names in our demo Active Directory accounts. So all those that users that are internal to you are going to be easily displayed on the screen. Just type in their name. For example, I could type in Patrick. Look at that. A bunch of Patricks are in here, all from our Active Directory tenant. All right, so I'll invite myself as well. Obviously, dates and times are the scheduled meeting. But look at this. I actually can invite Microsoft Teams rooms or Zoom rooms to this meeting. It's a Zoom meeting, you remember. So let's just grab a Microsoft Teams room real quick. So here's a neat bar Microsoft Teams room that I can invite to the meeting. Then when I walk to that Microsoft Teams room, the Zoom meeting will display on it with direct guest join. I can do the same thing with Zoom rooms. So I can invite the Laguna Zoom room to the Zoom meeting. And again, I walk into the Zoom room and my, my Zoom meeting's right there. And I did this all from Microsoft Teams. So now that we can generate an automatic ID or we can use a personal ID, we can generate a passcode, we can add a waiting room for security. We even have more options like we can turn video host on and participant videos on. We can do, you can mute participants on entry. All this stuff is available right from Microsoft Teams, even though it's a Zoom meeting. So let's just save that real quick. So now that new Zoom meeting that we created in Microsoft Teams is right here. You can see it, we just did it. Remember the, the host is me, we invited a Zoom room to the meeting. But now let's go back to the Microsoft Teams calendar and see if it's in there. Would you look at that? It's right there. And I can join it right from Microsoft Teams as before. Pretty cool stuff. By the way, we're in the Workplace tab. You can see that up here right where I'm hovering over. But look at the Activity tab. Let's go with Activity real quick. You can see that this meeting invite has been sent to me inside of Microsoft Teams. And I can accept or decline it right from the Zoom app. So let's just accept, but also you would have got that calendar invite in your email as well. So you can do whatever you want. You can do it in Outlook or you can do it in Zoom or you can do it in Microsoft Teams, full integration. Let's go back to the Workplace tab. I'm gonna show you some cool things that Zoom developed. And if you notice on the top right-hand side, there's full presence integration. Look at my icon up here. You can see that I'm in a meeting. I have full integration with Microsoft Teams and Zoom. And you can see in my Teams client, I'm busy as well. You can see now that there's full integration with Zoom and Microsoft Teams. So we're talking about scheduled integration, right? We have a calendar meeting scheduled right now. We're gonna go to in a meeting right here. You can see it in Microsoft Teams. But what about those things that aren't on your calendar? Say you had an ad hoc meeting, like a brand new Zoom meeting we created with new meeting. That presence is not in your calendar, but that presence when you join that meeting will push from Zoom to Microsoft Teams. Same thing with a phone call. You make a phone call or receive a phone call, that's not in your calendar, but when you're on a call, presence will now go busy because you're on a call. And Microsoft Teams users can see Zoom busy presence as well as green and away and all that cool stuff. Full presence integration with Microsoft Teams and Zoom. And by the way, do you wanna configure some settings in your Zoom client without leaving Microsoft Teams? You can do that too. Click on this little gear right here and your Zoom settings will appear. And I didn't have to leave Teams to do that. So we'll just pretend I said all those things and I'm good. But just know that you have the option to set everything in Zoom right from Microsoft Teams. We're also in the meeting tab right here. Let's go to phone. A bunch of cool stuff's there. So this is Zoom phone fully integrated with Microsoft Teams. I have my full call history in Microsoft Teams from my Zoom phone. You can see I made a call today at 10.07. You can see that I had an inbound call. You can see that I had outbound calls. You can see the call duration of the call. You can see when the call happened. So my full call history is on the left side here. And I can see all the users that called. By the way, these are all my numbers because it's a test account. But you can understand, hey, I've missed a call. I received a call, outbound calls. I can see all that in call history. But I want to kick that down even more. We can drop this menu down and we can see all missed calls. So all those are all the missed calls that I have from my Zoom phone integrated in Microsoft Teams. 
I can also use the drop down menu and see all recorded calls. So once I do that, boom, all my recorded calls are right here. And the cool thing is they're fully transcribed. I can certainly play that call recording back in Microsoft Teams, even though it's on a Zoom phone, but I also can read the entire call recording transcription. Look at that. Now I'm recording a call. And by the way, we have full call recording transcription. Super cool way to easily view recorded calls or play recorded calls right from Microsoft Teams even though they're on Zoom phone. So not only do I have my full call history, I have my all my missed calls, I have all my recordings, I actually have separate lines as well. Imagine you're part of maybe a hunt group or an auto attendant or a call queue. You can have those all displayed in Microsoft Teams. For example, I'm part of a help desk. I'm part of the reception desk. This is a demo. So I get all those calls in Microsoft Teams as well. I can also be a call delegate for other users. For example, here's Megan Trainer. She's a really famous singer. I didn't know if you realized that. I can actually be a call delegate for her. Or if you're an executive admin, you can be a call delegate for your boss. Those are all ways we can do this fully integrated with Microsoft Teams. And obviously I can make outbound calls from Microsoft Teams using the power of Zoom phone. I can literally just type in a number, whether it's an E164 number, just type in a 10 digit number, you can make an outbound call, but I can also have it fully integrated with Active Directory. So everybody in my organization, I can literally call right from here as well. So we just typed in Jeff, it, checked, it pulled up Jeff Sanger here. He's a Microsoft Teams user. You know how I can tell? There's a little Microsoft Teams icon right there. Let's look at a, a Zoom user. I know I'm one. There you go, Patrick Kelly, he's a Zoom user. You know how I know? Because it says Zoom right next to his name. Full integration with telephony as well as Active Directory making outbound calls. So for example, let's say I have a missed call from Patrick Kelly. I know I do because it's so red right here. What if I want to call him back? I can just hit the callback icon. Watch this. We're going to call Patrick right now. Here comes a call. Now I'm on a live phone call with Patrick Kelly and you saw all the icons change. So now these are call controls in the middle of the call that I can do right from Zoom, even though I'm in Microsoft Teams. So obviously if I wanna, if I wanna mute my microphone, I can do that. I wanna put the call on hold, I can do that. I wanna record the call, I can do that as well. This call is being recorded. Now you notice there's an announcement that the call is being recorded. On my cell phone, it's gonna tell me that the call is being recorded and I have to click one to accept that call recording. If I don't want to be recorded, I just gonna hang up the phone. I can even transfer the phone call to somebody in my organization or to an external number. I, if I wanted to transfer it, I can just type in Patrick Kelly, for example. And now here's some cool stuff. I can do a warm transfer meeting. I'm gonna call Patrick and tell him, hey, I have Patrick on the line. Is it okay if I transfer this call? And I just hit warm transfer. I can do a direct transfer. So basically that means I can just transfer that call without talking to the person. Or if I want to, I can transfer that call directly to voicemail. Literally again, these are all Zoom features inside of Microsoft Teams. I haven't left the Teams client to do any of this stuff. Let's go back to the call real quick. I wanna show you a cool thing. Remember we showed you that we were in a meeting, but now look, we're in a call. And presence integration, again, fully integrated with Microsoft Teams. Okay, that was outbound calling from Microsoft Teams, but what about inbound calling? Let's do that next. I'm gonna call my Microsoft Teams Zoom phone integration client with my cell phone. Look at that inbound call coming in. I can accept that call or obviously decline that call. You can see the caller ID right here as well, as well as the caller ID of the incoming call. Okay, that's outbound calling, that's inbound calling, all from Microsoft Teams with Zoom phone integration. What else is there? So I've set up a couple of demos here for you with voicemails. I've clicked on the voicemail tab. All the voicemails inside of Zoom phone are available inside of Microsoft Teams. So I can obviously see when they were done at today at 10 o'clock, I, I left an example voicemail. I can also call that number back if I really wanna reach Patrick Kelly, but also I can also play that voicemail inside of Microsoft Teams. Hi, this is Patrick Kelly. Uh I won't play the whole thing for you in this demo, but more importantly, full call transcription of that exact voicemail. So I don't actually have to play the voicemail if I don't want to. I can just read this voicemail inside of Microsoft Teams, even though that voicemail is on Zoom phone. You can see that I left a lengthy voicemail with a couple of questions. I can read all of that right here in Microsoft Teams. So I showed you how to call a user back. I showed you how to play the voicemail. I showed you how to read the voicemail. You can see the length of this voicemail. You can also delete the voicemail if you want to or copy the number and, and paste it into the outbound calling, but you can also just use the callback button. Okay, history, voicemail, down. Let's go to lines. As I shared earlier, I'm part of a couple of auto attendants and call groups, and I'm also call delegate for one of the users in my organization. So all the call groups I'm a part of are right here, and all the single line delegates that I'm a part of are right here as well. So I have full access to all my shared call groups, as well as shared line integration I have 
inside of Microsoft Teams, all set up on the Zoom phone site. Okay, we're down through three, history, voicemail, lines. Let's go to SMS. We have full texting and SMS integration with Microsoft Teams using Zoom phone. Here's an example I had from last October. I'm actually texting my, my cell phone as an example, and I can obviously text full images as you can see right here. I can also just regularly text by just typing text, send, test. Bet you can't guess what's on my phone. <laughs> yep, I got the text send. So I have full texting and SMS integration with Microsoft Teams. I just got that text and I'll reply, great works great works receive the text so now i have full sms and texting integration from my zoom phone inside of microsoft teams you'll notice i'm wearing a new shirt today because i had to re-record the speed dial demo that i messed up yesterday so let's redo it so on the top right hand corner of your teams client you're going to see a, a speed dial uh, icon so just click on it so now all the speed dials you have set up in Microsoft Teams and Zoom appear right here in your Zoom app. So you can see the difference between uh, Teams users, there's a little Teams icon here, and you can see Zoom users, there's obviously uh, a Zoom icon here. And I can initiate contact with those users by just clicking uh, the call button to call that user back, or you can obviously click SMS to SMS that user. You can even delete that user. These are all my speed dials. There's also contacts in here. So all my Teams contacts are available right in here. You can see all these users are, are Teams users. You can see all my contacts that I have set up in my Microsoft Teams client. You can see all my company contacts in Zoom. You can see all my external contacts that I have set up in Zoom. And again, I can SMS these people or actually call them directly right from my speed dial area inside of Microsoft Teams, even though all those contacts and stuff are actually in my Zoom phone. Full integration, again, between Zoom and Microsoft Teams. And if you haven't noticed, I haven't left the Teams client to do any of this stuff. We showed you all the meeting stuff and the call stuff. Let's go to a couple more things real quick. Zoom also has full integration inside of Microsoft Teams from a chat perspective. Say, for example, we're chatting back and forth with Jeff and I'm like, hey, dude, I'm tired of typing so much. Can we just have a quick meeting or a quick phone call? Watch this. We can do that with Zoom. So on the bottom, you're going to see this plus sign inside of Microsoft Teams. Click on it. You'll see the Zoom client right here. Now it's gonna pop up some actions that I can do with Jeff. I can start an instant meeting right with Jeff. I can schedule a meeting with Jeff. I can make a phone call directly to Jeff. I can even share a whiteboard from Zoom with Jeff. Check this out. Here's all my whiteboards that I have inside of Zoom. Realize I haven't left Microsoft Teams. It's full Zoom integration. So let's just share this dinosaur whiteboard with Jeff inside of Microsoft Teams. Boom, this Zoom whiteboard is now shared with Jeff inside of Microsoft Teams chat. This is pretty amazing. I can now do almost everything I need in the Zoom inside of the Microsoft Teams client. But let's escalate it to another level. What about Microsoft Teams channels? We can do the same with them as well. So check this out. I'm, I'm part of this general channel, the Zoom Office 365 integration. I can hit the plus sign again. I can go to Zoom Do.O again. And now I can have an instant meeting with everyone in the channel right from Microsoft Teams, even though it's a Zoom meeting. I can schedule a meeting with the entire team. Watch this. Let's schedule a meeting with the entire team. Everyone inside this team is in this channel. You can see it's pre-populated. It's pulled all the team members from Microsoft Teams and placed them into the invites of participants of all the people inside this Zoom meeting. And then I can invite all members of the channel to this meeting. We can invite obviously Microsoft Teams rooms as well as Zoom rooms here. So let's just schedule that meeting. Now look at this on the top. Inside of that Microsoft Teams channel chat section, we now have a Zoom invite. And now every member of the channel will receive this Zoom invite and can accept that meeting on behalf of them. And when they accept it, it goes right to their calendar. So we just set up this meeting from 12 to one. Let's go back to our calendar. And you can see there's a meeting from 12 to one. Pretty cool. So I hope that tour of the Zoom 2.0 client uh, demo was, was helpful. It really showcases the power of what Zoom can do inside of Microsoft Teams. Now you can take advantage of all those strong modalities from your Zoom client, like meetings and phone and SMS, as well as whiteboard, and take full advantage of them inside of Microsoft Teams without having to leave Microsoft Teams. So again, as we stated earlier, you can now utilize the power of maybe Microsoft Teams should you have that in your organization, but you need a higher level of, of modalities like phone and meetings as well as whiteboard, and you can fully integrate those things inside of Teams with our Zoom app. So until next time, I'm Patrick Kelly, the Tattooed Nerd.